What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Jay Campbell. And I'm Hunter Williams. And we are back to make another video. And the topic of today's video is albuterol versus carterine, which is a PPAR agonist before you do fasted cardio. So obviously a lot of you guys watch us now for our fat loss, peptides, hormone optimization information. This is a very nitty gritty esoteric product discussion uh, about basically albuterol or carterine and you know comparing and contrasting both of them uh first off we like both of these products uh we have the other product range gw0742 yeah gw0742 so which is also a ppar agonist both of these products uh will enhance metabolic rate will enhance energy production uh you will feel stronger and having more energy and just basically you're just more inclined to do the cardio it makes your cardio somewhat easier yeah. and then obviously they also will change what, what i like to call cardiovascular density so the leaner you are the more veiny the more veins you will have when you're using these products uh there's a lot of you know misinformation online about carterine and of course gw and that they cause uh heart damage or heart wall damage or issues or tissues there's like one study yeah. that was out there that was of course in rats that showed that it caused these issues but you know in experiential body of practice from you know thousands of people that have been using this in both the performance enhancement community and of course the underground bodybuilding and you know fat loss community nobody is seeing these things and if there is any effect, most of the studies that, and there are studies in humans on these products, uh, anything that happens is recessed or goes back to the normal baseline after you stop using them. So yeah. again, just discretion is the better part of our, never abuse anything, always use what we recommend, surgically precise dosages, start low, go slow, assess your tolerance, assess how you as a biochemically unique end of one individual uh, tolerates these medications or these substances. But what's up, peeps? If you find my videos valuable, join my email list where I send daily emails to 25,000 of the most elite humans on the planet. Click the link in the top of this description or head on over to join.jcampbell.com. I'll just say, and then you finish, um, we both love albuterol. Uh, albuterol is not going to cause any side effects. Again, when, when used in the dosages that we recommend, which pre-workout cardio is anywhere from three to six milligrams. Uh, the only downside of cardio of albuterol, as you know, is, is that it does downregulate. Now there are ways to hack beyond that. You know, if you want to be a true geek and take some other products while you're down, while you go into down regulation, but instead, you know, if you don't want to do that, what Hunter and I just do is we just mix and match, right? So we'll do albuterol for two weeks because that's usually the amount of time before you downregulate yep. uh, and then switch to carterine or GW uh, and do the same thing for two weeks and then go back to albuterol and, and back and forth. Now, the differences from them, uh, again, I would say GW and carterine shows you get a little bit more enhanced definition, whereas with albuterol, you definitely get stubborn fat loss removal very fast like you know i back in the day i mentioned this doctor but this doctor and i used to make have conversations about designing products or supplements and it used to be like if you could design an effervescent form of metformin with like a granulized capsulized form of albuterol and again taking on an empty stomach both of them work specifically to uh, attack uh stubborn fat receptor cells which again are the a2b's like down in the belly fat the belly fat area of region for men and in women they're in like the glued ham tie-ins again it's where the stubborn body fat cells are so you know i love albuterol pre-cardio you get definitely enhanced energy for sure you sweat more uh you know we, we could even add in you know if you want to talk about um, l-carnitine injecting l-carnitine at the same way you get maybe even a different bonus but to compare and contrast them you know hunter's going to have his own opinion on it but i like them both equally uh, and I think that in a fasted bodybuilder or performance athlete or biohackers lifestyle, they both can come, can come in useful, especially when you want to take your body fat to single digit levels. Yeah. If I had to choose one, I would probably say albuterol just because I notice it torches like the lower belly yeah. fat yeah. better. Now, both of them are good. The albuterol is For a sure. beta 2 uh, adrenergic uh, signaler. So it's more of a stimulant type. I say, I would say like, like albuterol. I feel like my lungs are bigger For when sure. I use the liquid yeah. version. And that's why asthma people get it yeah, described. Exactly. Um, carterine though gives you really good endurance. So both of them give you endurance, but in a little bit different way. I feel like I can breathe better with albuterol, but carterine, I feel like I probably have like more muscular endurance uh, throughout the cardio. Both of them make cardio go by faster. 
Um, but like Jay was saying, I think they're really good to cycle. So if you did albuterol for one week, carterine for one week, albuterol for one week, carterine for one week, you can go back and forth between them and kind of more or less get the same results. Um, I think all in all, if you were really like in a really tough fat loss phase where you were trying to get down to like that last few percent of body fat, I think albuterol is going to be stronger in terms of getting rid of the stubborn belly fat. Um, as opposed to carterine, like Jay said, I've noticed a little bit more muscular definition, but not so much in the way of belly fat. Um, I think carterine probably, I think it gets you more into a fat burning state yeah. faster. Energetically, yeah. Yeah, than albuterol will. Like I know when I take carterine, like within the first five or 10 minutes of cardio, like I'm sweating right away. Yeah, 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 and it's yeah. kind of driving that. And that's the PPAR yeah. addition or agonist. Yeah. Um, whereas albuterol, you don't necessarily do that. But you just breathe better yeah. and you're more conditioned through the cardio. But you just notice the stubborn fat uh, loss better. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like you yeah. actually feel heat in the yeah. lower. Yeah, without butterol, it's like, wow. Butterol. And then it's like the next day, you get up and you look in the mirror and you're like, man, like you can see like more definition in your lower abs. Yeah, and we should add in because, you know, we're going to get the bros pushed back and say, bro, albuterol is not as strong as clenbuterol. Well, look, yeah. clenbuterol for sure is probably as equally as strong as albuterol, but albuterol doesn't have side effects. Clenbuterol definitely causes side effects uh, in, in users who are prone to it. They get headaches, they get blood pressure issues. And again, I always go back to this. There are a lot of studies that have shown that clenbuterol when used in too high of dosages, which is like most people in the bodybuilding community, it causes heart wall damage. It absolutely can damage cardiac tissue. So like, why would you use clenbuterol when you can use albuterol and not have those effects, you know, when people will be like, Hey bro, clenbuterol is stronger. There's science that shows that it loses, you know, that it increases um, uh, thermogenesis and it also builds muscle, you know, from that, whatever effect it is because it increases uh, the, the body's like energy demand. But the truth is, is like, like clenbuterol for most people, they get a headache. Um, they can get agitated. It can definitely elevate resting heart rate. There's a lot of things that clenbuterol can throughout do. the whole day too, not just exactly. There's a lot of things that clenbuterol does that is negative that albuterol does not do. So again, if you want to come at us and say that clenbuterol is stronger than albuterol, that may or may not be true. It likely is true, but it also comes with way more potential side effects. And as you age, you want to minimize, if not eliminate, side effects altogether, especially when you're taking gray market ergogens. So to wrap up. We both love albuterol for stubborn body fat loss. We like carterine and GW uh, for enhanced energy for better sweating. Uh, but we like to rotate both of them because, again, albuterol will downregulate after two weeks. So I'm Jay Campbell. I'm Hunter Williams. And we will see you guys very soon. Peace.